okay then. Bear with me just a second. I have some water. I have some juice. Although I've just discovered that orange and apricot juice at room temperature is absolutely revolting. So that's gone back into the fridge for a little bit. Right. <sighs> Good morning. Wait, am I... Hang on. Refresh. Do, 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 do. Is it live? The chat doesn't appear to be moving. Hang on. Refresh the chat. Do, 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 do. Welcome to the chat room. It's connected. It is live, says Inuvit. You can hear me? Hi! Good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome. Sorry for being slightly late. Um, so, yes, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm going to be starting with a bit of Subnautica. Bear with me a second. Ah. <sighs> Welcome to, welcome to Subnautica. So yes, I'm going to be kicking off with a couple of hours of Subnautica, and then I'm going to bugger off in order to continue editing on the latest YouTube project. So on that front, a quick update. It's week seven <clears throat> on this project. I'm so sorry that it's taking so long. It is proving to be something of a bastard. It's not a bullshittery. It's something a little bit different this time. It's a, well, one hour and ten minutes in, in total, a uh, uh, group of three video essays. So I'm working on three videos in which I talk about something and show some visuals and animations at the same time to illustrate my points. And hopefully, when it's ready, it turns out to be good. Um, fingers crossed. We'll have to see. So, um, yeah, I've just been trying to finish this to the best of my ability. I put another test render up last night, and it seemed to work, which is quite good. This time I rendered it to 720 as opposed to 1080. For some reason I'm struggling to get the tip. well, my PC is struggling to do the 1080. I don't know why, it just seems to freeze on the 27% mark, but I'm hoping if I can just keep increasing the resolution piece by piece and trying to actually figure out what, what, what's the problem, what's, uh, what's the thing in the composition that's giving it trouble. Um, hopefully I can narrow down precisely what it is, and, um, and yeah, and get that done. So yes, uh, Too Long Didn't Read is I'm trying to get some YouTube content finished, but it's, yeah, I just need to get this quality assurance process done. So I need to take what's there and polish it until it's ready. Ha! Ah. Burger or sushi? Oh, it's too early in the morning for both, birdie. Go with something, you know, breakfast breakfasty. Get some porridge or something. Um, thank you, uh, Sama Jadar and Dutch Womble and the Meerkat and Skaven. Thank you all of you for subbing. Thank you sincerely, folks. You're very kind. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you, folks. Sorry, could you bear with me just one moment? Hang on. Where's that? Hang on, let me just mute the microphone and shut... There we go. Porridge is not nasty. Porridge is nice, birdie. It's, it's just, it's oats. It's warmed oats with a bit of milk and you can add some, well, add something sweet to it or add bits of fruit like sliced banana or whatever. It's nice. It's very nice. It's good for you. It's healthy. It's wholesome. Hmm. Give porridge a go. And it'll keep you filled, yeah, keep you filled up for fucking, you know, until late, late in the afternoon. It's great. What the hell? Derpy shark. Right, okay, so let's crack on then. So, for those who haven't been watching the Subnautica streams, uh, we are the sole survivor of a craft called the Aurora. This thing here, that crash landed on this world, or more accurately, was shot down and crashed into this world. It was shot down by some sort of alien defense system, some sort of quarantine uh, array, it, it, some sort of facility that, that launches an energy beam towards incoming ships and can even launch it around the gravity well of the planet, uh, built by some unknown alien civilization. And if we're going to escape this world, and we are working on that, because we have a, a frame that we're going to build a rocket ship, if we're going to escape this world then we need to switch off that system, or at least investigate the quarantine figure out exactly what's being quarantined. Some sort of bacterial infection? It's not clear. Why some alien race would dedicate all of this energy towards, you know, stopping a bacterial infection, we don't know yet. Welcome to my habitat. It's my office down here. It's where I do my experiments and look at my potted plants and keep calm. Hmm. Okay. So, <clears throat> right then. 
I did manage to get an upgrade for the Seamoth. I actually, um, it turns out it was super easy. So the Seamoth upgrade was just plasteel, magnetite, and enamel glass, and then just three rubies. I had all of that ready to go. So just before the stream, I, I quickly made an MK3 module for the Seamoth. This means that the Seamoth can now go down to 900 meters. That's down from 200, or rather up from two, down from 200? Up from 200. But it's going up, the number's going up, but we're going down in the ocean. So we can go super deep with the with the sea moth, the sub, which is great. So I, I think we should go and look for the Degassi. So the you know the, the crew members of the Degassi, they said that they were also looking for what what were they looking for? They were they were trying to investigate a way of switching off the quarantine, and they've gone down to about 500 meters in an area with strong geothermal activity. I think it's our best lead. Before we go though, we best get some food. I'm just gonna step outside. Okay. Ah, Leviathan. Okay. Let's go and use this thousand degree knife to cut some fish and eat some fish. Hello, spade fish. Whoop! Yep, yep. Still, stop maneuvering. Invasive little thing. Okay, eat some spade fish. Could also probably do with getting some bottled water before I leave. Hmm. Yeah. Right. So yes, welcome. I hope everyone's okay. Thank you, Knight Tesla and Draco Tram. Thank you very much, both of you. Yoink. So they're getting cooked immediately with the blade. Just an upgrade on. Whoopsie. Upgrade on the blade. No, come back, boomerang. There we go. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? I keep right-clicking, thinking that's to eat it. Okay, and maybe a bit of water would be prudent. Do we have a sample of that coral? I think there's some... No, we might have to hang on. Equipping the sea glide. Some batteries might also be wise. What does it take to build one of those battery recharge stations? Hang on. I think a shark is about to bite me. Uh, battery recharge. Where is it? Water filtration machine. Battery charger. Copper wire. Oh, just copper wire? Let's get one of those then. Rather than constantly making fresh batteries, let's recharge the ones that we have. Hold the phone. Let's get a bit of copper. Just looking for some limestone outcrops. <sighs> Take care, Taurus. Have a good one. Fear not, though. Bad underwater stuff is going to happen to me, and you'll probably watch me shriek as that happens. You're perfectly safe. Ooh, creature's egg. Yeah, ooh, spiky. Oh, wow. I'm guessing this is one of the shark eggs. Uh, it's armoured and spiky, just like they are. Okay. Some salt deposits useful for making cured food if I wanted to. So I'm just looking for some limestone outcrops. A bit of metal. What was that clicking? Yeah, I tell you, there's been some strange noises underwater that I've not heard before. Whoa. No oh, shit. Get away from me, explodey boy. Uh, ow! Yikes, they nearly killed me. Those things, those things are proper dangerous. I don't think I've explored this bit before. Hang on. Let's just surface get some air. Thank you, Aztec. Thank you very much, Aztec. Thank you for your sub bomb. You're very kind, sir. Thank you. Good luck, uh, Kai, in your job interview. Don't worry. Just, you know, just stay calm. Be sure to have some follow-up questions. Um, yeah. Just seem enthused. Make sure you've looked into what the company does. That sort of thing. Ah, you little bastards. I hate those things. Ah. Merry suicide bombers, that's what they are. Thank you, I Cheat Gamer and Zyf Arse. Thank you sincerely. Thank you very much. And the creature egg. What's this thing? I've got one of those. <clears throat> ah, there's the type of coral I, I need for the bleach to make some water. If I can make ah, copper ore. Titanium. 
yeah, I like it, Uncle Flynn. I played through Subnautica about five years ago, and I enjoyed it. Didn't have any of this, though, as in the storyline stuff. I can scan this. Those things are fucking nasty. Yikes. So I'm just looking for a bit of copper. Oh, it's these things that are clicking. Oh, you bastards. Thank you, the Aob. Thank you very much, Aob. Thank you kindly. That is. Thank you, Chimera. Thank you very much. Bit more copper. Bit more copper. Don't need that. Okay. Thank you, Calidus. Thank you very much, Calidus. And hot butter knife. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Anyway, if you're just joining the stream, so I'm going to swim back to the habitat and then I'm going to build a battery recharge unit so I don't have to keep making fresh batteries. I'm going to get some batteries. We've got some food. Um, shit, I should have... Uh, infantry full. Let's drop this stuff off. I should have got some of that coral so I can make some bleach to make some replacement water. Thank you, Iron Tide. Thank you very much. Indeed, thank you, Kaleidus, for the 45 months. Holy shit. Have we been going that long? Yes, Romulus. I've got a phone call with my GP, so my doctor, uh, tomorrow. Sort of go, my lungs are fucked. What's going on? My lungs are fucked. Welcome aboard, Captain. I mean, I'm, I'm asthmatic, so my lungs are fucked already, but my lungs are more fucked than they should be. Do I think uh, play, of playing Subnautica in co-op and multiplayer mode? No, 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 no. God, no. Um, forgive me, I know I say this a lot, but some not all games are built for multiplayer. This one, definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, the immersive element, the, the creepy element, it goes all out of the window the moment you've got someone else with you making dick jokes. Seriously, some games are much stronger in their, in their single play. Okay, drop off some sulfur, drop off some magnetite, some lithium. Yeah, this will probably be a terrible multiplayer game. Thank you, Mr. Fluffy. Thank you very much. What was that? Uh, battery kit. Hang on a minute. So what did I need? Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's have a look. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Interior modules. Battery charger. So titanium and copper wire. So grab that copper that I just dropped off. Da -da 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 -da. And a bit of titanium, which is in here. Go to the, this thing. Hang on. Copper wire. Well, I got I got nauseous really quickly, Kavalik. So I don't know. All the sliding around. It was a uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Compass pipes. Ah uh, no, it's here, isn't it? Okay. So battery charger unit. Okay, we can just mount it on the side of the wall here. Says battery charger. Sweet. Do I have any in storage? I think I've got. Did I keep my empty ones? Empty, 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 empty. Nice. Okay, nice. They're charging up. I'll take the spare one. This one's full. We've got another similar device for power packs, haven't we? For the for the sea moth. Not that we really need that right now, because the Seamoth can just charge in its station. Thank you, Coptus Maximus. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cool. Right. Coral, coral. Uh, yeah, so get get some water, then we'll go on our journey. Maybe a medkit as well, because I'm quite hurt. Um, do we even have any spare? Ah, here we do. There we go. Right. Possibly Trommel, but no, nah, I'm, I'm not convinced. Um, seriously, uh, if, if, if your game has 
elements of horror, or at least creepiness, it's immediately undercut if there are other people with you. Um, Seek fluid intake. Your game is stronger if the person is just alone in their own thoughts. Okay. So what am I doing? Exchange power source. There we go. Let's go get some coral. Thank you, Jigs. And the Mexi driver. Thank you. Hmm. Indeed, Fat Pingu. But then again, as mentioned, I am cheating, effectively. Um, these other people who are probably going on Twitch full time likely don't have a multi million sub YouTube account behind them, which I do. So, I'm being cheeky. I'd say that I do not count in any sort of. That's the noise. I keep hearing that noise and I don't know where it's from. It's like a it's like a raspy mechanical laughter. I have no idea what it is. Could be ambient noise. But I've not heard it in this biome before. Thank you, Vega. Thank you very much, Vega. You reckon that's just the sound of the sand? No, that's what the sound the sand sharks make. Okay. It's not like the rocket pad or something? Okay. <sighs> mm. The wreck makes noise now. Do you reckon? Do you reckon it's just the wreck? Could be. Alright, so batteries are charging. Make some bleach. Oops. Insufficient salt deposits. Grab some from the storage. What's wrong, locker? Need to get these properly sorted. I'm just sort of. Right now it's slapdash, just throw everything in everywhere. Okay. Thank you, Fire Slam. Thank you very much, Fire. Oh, yeah, holy shit. The base's power is, is falling quickly. I guess we need to put more organic material in the reactor behind us. Okay. Yeah, these batteries are chewing up the power. Right, making some water. How's the editing going, um, uh, Jippy? So I'm trying my best, but um, as said before, um, I'm, I'm struggling horrendously. The, this project is seriously taxing me. Um, I'm at, at, at my sort of... the limits of what I can do. I really need a break. I haven't had a break. Vital signs stabilizing. But I'm, I'm nearly done. It's nearly done. I just need to just need to push forward just a little bit more, a little bit more, and it's, it's out of the way. Okay, so food and water sorted. Let's grab, uh, let's grab a couple of creature decoys just in case. Drop off these spare, yeah, spare things here. Maybe give these a moment just to stop charge. Yeah, finish charging. Would be good to have spare batteries just in case. Yeah, these batteries are empty. Okay. If I went back to a normal job, I consider being a video editor. I don't know. I have no idea. Trouble is, though, I lacked. You know, I, I've sort of everything I know. I've picked up, um, you know, myself. I haven't had any formal training, which means that you tend to bake in your own mistakes. So, I doubt I would be super competent in a professional setting. I'm just going this way to look for some organic material. Thank you, Evoke. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I know, McGrath. Thank you. Thank you very much. But uh, again, it's hard to explain. It, it's more that I, I, I just need to get this project done. I can't. I feel I can't relax until it's done. Okay. 
Thank you, Curious Snake. Thank you. But yeah, it is nearly done, though. So today, I need to go away and uh, focus on some audio editing, because frankly, the audio's fucked. Uh, the music. It, so there's some background music in different places. And sometimes it's too quiet, sometimes it's too loud. Sometimes the transitions are wrong, that sort of thing. I also need to go and get some gun sounds from the game Apex Legend. And what else? Rings of Elysium, Apex Legend, uh, Call of Duty Warzone, and something else. There's another game. I need to get some background sounds because I've cut in elements of their gameplay, but they're from many cinematic trailers. Um, there's, a, there's a sort of montage of Battle Royale games. The trouble is, those cinematic trailers feature music, so I've had to sort of pull out their audio layers and I've got to custom make the audio again, because, yeah. Quick, 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 quick. Because otherwise the music's going to be blaring. Okay, the bioreactor now has material to chew through. Thank you, Solid Sprinkles. Thank you very much. Uh, Lord of George, it's just the platform and the gantry. We're still working on the rocket. Okay. I think these are ready, almost. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nice. 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 <laughs> Right. Hello, peepers. Hello, peepers. Thank you, your girl. Thank you very much, your girl. Hmm. If I sleep, do you, would it be done faster? Ah, let's go to sleep. It's night time anyway. In the morning, we'll go off and try and find the... Well, I, I know they're dead. I was going to say survivors. Um, the, the Degassi crew and what happened to them. Why the foundation's glowing? They're incomplete. I need to get a bit more lead. Feels sadistic to keep fish in an aquarium and tease them so close to a huge ocean. <laughs> I know. Okay. Yoink. 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 And yoink. Okay. Torch. Replace the battery. Lovely jubbly. May as well just replace all the batteries. Hang on. Lovely. Batteries. Okay. Put the empty ones in here. Oh, did I just bin the empty one? What have I just done? Ah. I exchanged it with an empty battery. Okay. We'll leave that there. Let's go. Let's get aboard the sea moth. So for the people joining the stream, we are about to head off to find the three members of the Degassi. So a ship that crashed here before us. We were apparently already secondary orders of the Aurora, the ship that we came from. It was a rescue mission for the Degassi. Uh, this, is, this is my sub called the Alert. It's my sub alert. Uh, we're, not, we're not going out with hot pink though because it looks... Hot pink will be for the Neptune's kiss. This is the Neptune's kiss. Okay. Interior. Stripes. There we go. So, I've installed the upgrades. Oh yes, I also put this. So, storage module and a Seamoth sonar. So I can actually carry some things in the back of the Seamoth now. Let's go. Oh, health is low. Bear with me. Give it a quick, quick rub. Here we go. And we're off. Welcome aboard Pearl Systems Online. Okay, so checking. Beacon Manager, Seamoth. So that's the Neptune, that's our home. So, proposed a gassy habitat. This is abandoned. Life Pod 12 sunk to ocean bed. Did we check Life Pod 12? I can't remember. So this is apparently where they went. Proposed a gassy habitat 500 meters. Okay, 
885 meters. Let's investigate then. So, we're moving directly south, past the scary trench. Scary trench of scariness. A very deep trench that just keeps on going. Looks like they went towards the Aurora. Well, the Aurora the Aurora wasn't crashed there at the time. <laughs> this is where we find out that the Aurora flattened it. Oh no wait, hang on. The Aurora's over there. I see, so they're down beneath the island? Beneath dry land. Okay. Indeed, so the Seamoth is now upgraded to go down to 900 meters, so... Nice. I hear a leviathan. Did I save it before I get murderized in the face? Also, how does the sonar work then? What's this? The creepy music playing. How does the sonar work? Oh! Ah! Oh wow! Even the- oh god, that's terrifying. Look! It's a ping! The, the reef back was just- imagine just seeing something fucking horrendously massive. Just lo looking at you in the darkness. That's nightmare fuel. Oh cool, we can actually ping. There's not a motorbike in the ocean, that's my neighbour. Oh, we're consuming power. Yes, we are. Okay, let's be careful. So we're passing the previous crush depth for the sub. So we're now at 210 metres. The upgrade will keep us intact. Is this a tunnel system? Yes, I remember seeing this when we came here previously. 300 meters down. Ooh, another one of those alien vents. Hey, peepers. I saw these before. Some sort of... It's, gi it's giving out highly oxygen... See you, peeper. It's giving out highly oxygenated water, I think. Can I scan this one? I've already scanned it. So it's made of the same material. It's made of, as the, uh, of the same material as the um, the other alien ruins. Keep exploring. No, no, I think it's heavily oxygenated. I think it said. What did it say? Hang on. Data banks. Uh, data downloaded. Alien data. Scan data. Arch vent. Uh, warm. Oh, sorry. Warm deoxygenated water is being expelled. Okay. Ooh. While we're here, I need to look for different types of damage. Just sandstone. I'll take this ruby though. Creepy. Aliens terraforming the planet. I, well, they were quarantining it. So where are we going? Let's keep looking. joining the stream. Welcome. I have a feeling that might be the scary trench. It's got one of those... What's that? Is this the right way? 
Have I just entered the wrong tunnel network? There could be others. Hang on. It's a rabbit warren. Holy shit. The vents probably connect to the power station. Maybe. The note said that there was some sort of alien facility that was powering the turret. And it was built in an area with a lot of volcanic activity. sort of octopus. Whoa! What the fuck? What was that? That was no shark or local predator. One of the aliens, maybe? It just used technology. the impression I'm being watched. Thank you, Mashimaro. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hell Jumper. Whoa. What's that? Some sort of crab. Whoa. That's creepy. eyes to see in the dark, stalking through the sand. We're capturing its best side. Dummy thick. Sea treader. Hello. No, don't turn around, please. No, I'm not going to fuck it. A sea treader leviathan, a, vile, a vast bipedal leviathan which roams the reefs in, reef in herds, grazing the sea floor. It has antennae on the creature's head that can detect a range of scents, helping the sea treader to find fresh gra grazing pastures. Avoid, avoid the path of large predators. Oh dear. And sends chemical signals from others of its kind. 
It has thick armor which protects the creature from attack by all but the largest carnivores. Two legs extend from the rear. It has an elongated snout which is used to siphon up plant material from the sea floor and maintain balance. Large herds would decimate the flora of a single area, thus encouraging the sea treader's migratory behavior. Families keep their young towards the center of the herd, and parents will lash out at overcurious interlopers in search of an easy meal. Ah, sea treader's herds may uh, unearth min uh, sorry, mineral deposits as they churn up the sand. For real? So it's an elephant. Moving in large herds, migrating long distances, protecting their young in the middle of the herd. They're sea elephants. What on earth did it just shit? It just shat. The, the the sea elephant just shat. Charming. Appreciate that. Is that an egg or, or poop? What is that? Am I touching it? It's... It is. It's, it's poo. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm touching the alien poo. Why, why are we picking up the alien poo? Nutrient-rich manure suitable for bioenergy production. Welcome Sticky. Aboard, Captain. Okay. Ah, fascinating. Let's save it. We've certainly got Yep. Alien poop. There's more over there. Stand by. This is where it freaks the fuck out the moment I hit. Oh, look, I see another one. You see that? I like him. <laughs> yeah, this is where Nutella comes from. Harvested from the abyssal plain of the earth. Ah, another vent. So, for those joining the stream, we need to find where this habitat is. Let's keep searching. I wonder where the entrance to the habitat starts. Hang on. What's that noise? Oh, look. Is that just a predator? What is it? I'm reluctant to go anywhere near it. Oh, yeah, holy shit. These things can teleport. Thank you, Neekster. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Could be a lead. Hang on. It goes much deeper. We're now passing 400 meters. That's double the default crush depth of the sea moss. Wow. Whoa. Something's clicking. Big cave. I remember this actually. It looks different, but I remember this. Volcanic activity. Undersea. Look. Maybe they are just predators. Oh, creepy. There. The habitat. What the fuck? What is that? Okay, there's some weird shit down in this cave. Okay, I found the Degassi 500 meter habitat. Swarming with these tentacle things. And what looks like a giant... Like a tick. Detecting a titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. 
titanium mass. What, the base? 508 meters. Jesus, there's two of them. Are they predators? They look a lot like these scavengers, but they're too large. The trouble with scavenging is that you can't be too big, otherwise, well, you won't be able to sustain yourself. They're like clawed octopus. What was that? Is it going to eat one of those? It's moving through the rock. Oh shit, it is. No, no, it's state little shitty fish. Creepy. Look inside the habitat. Please. Okay, so this this is where they went, 500 meters deeper. The three members of the of the Degassi crew. Is this where they died? Two of the three were killed, and the son said they don't want us down there. Get this bag. Coffee machine. Ah, oh, coffee on 4546B. Ah, oh, the greatest prize. Wait, did I scan it? Can I make a coffee machine? Please? I want to make a coffee machine back home. Yay! Ah, oh, what? Caffeine free coffee? Caffeine free coffee? Fucking heresy. This place is actually a nightmare. Data box. Swim charge fins. Wirelessly charges your handheld tools while you swim. Ah, handy. Near blueprint acquired. PDA. Gassy voice log 7. Malady. New PDA data. Stand by. Seek fluid intake. So the previous voice log su suggested going deeper. Whoa, look at you. Hello, beastie. Whoa, hello. You can see your internal organs. Look at you. Whoa. You are very cool. I am absolutely terrifying. Look at you. You can see its heart beating. You can see its... Are you intelligent? Is that your brain? Whoa. Hello. I'm relatively safe in here. Let's just get a little bit of air. And have a drink. Vital signs stabilizing. Back inside. Give me a Oh, there's an upstairs section that I didn't spot. Let's listen to the log. How did they do? Please stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, man. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Hmm. It's changing the genetic code. Maybe what he said before. Oh shit, what the fuck? What happened? Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! 
Okay, no, 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 it just, it pulled me to him. Holy shit, no, you can fuck off, sir. That's worse than I thought. Holy shit. I'm fine. You stay out there. No, 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 no. I don't want to go near you. I'm fine. You stay all the way over there. Okay, it pulled me through the window. Through the gap in the window. Yikes. Okay, um... What was I saying? Sorry, so, um... Uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the son in a previous log said that, um... His father and the mercenary girl are already part of this ecosystem and soon I'll join them. Maybe he didn't mean in the sense that they got eaten. Maybe he meant that they were changed into something. Like these things. As in if it's altering your genetic code. Oh, you're horrible. Maybe they're not dead. Maybe they're just different. Okay, how do I get upstairs? He knows I'm in here now. Okay, quick. Go to the Seamoth. Leave me alone. Okay, how do we get into the upper part? Is there a hatch? Give it a save before I get hideously murdered. Yeah, there's a hatch. And another PDA. Piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off. Piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off. Piss off, piss off, piss off. <sighs> I think it needed line of sight for it to... Oh, no, 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 no. Give it away from me. Whoa. Ah. Don't like those things. Do not like those things. Creepy. Very creepy. Ah, the containment unit. New blueprint acquired. They were trying to study them. They were trying to study, well, not necessarily these things, but they were trying to study organisms. Two observation decks and an alien. Yeah, okay. They came down here to try and study them. Cyclops shield generator. Can I build the Cyclops? Acquired. The large sub submarine? Oh, no, 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 leave me alone. Owie, 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 owie. I'm down on very low health now. It pulled me out of the opposite. Can it pull me through glass? Grab the damn PDA and get the fuck out of here before I get killed. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Quick, give it a save before I get murdered. Yeah. I can see what the sun meant. They do not want us down here. They're screaming. Ah. Get away. Fuck away from me. Get the PDAs and fucking book it. Yeah, yeah, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh. Whoa. Brave the brave Sir Robin. Holy shit. Those things are creepy. Okay, let's check the voice logs. I'm quite hurt and I'm quite hungry. Didn't bring much food, so hang on. Cyclops. Cyclops hull blueprint. Ah. Okay. Find the hull blueprint. Good to know. Okay. Should be safe in the Cyclops. Ah, let me just get something to eat. Fucking. It's up here. Ah. ah clicking. I'm sure that means it's safe. Vital signs stabilizing. Holy shit, screaming. Okay. Oh, we, we just received a radio transmission as well. There's another one of those things. What is that sound? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, we're out. We're out. We're out.
Okay. Uh, are we safe? I want to check the logs. Let's go to the cave ceiling. Switch off the lights and stay very, very still. Here we go. Voice log 9, disaster. Oh. Paul's log, so the captain, the end. Wait, have I missed a log? 7 and then 9? Was there 8 down there? I don't want to go back down there. We'll just do a quick scoop. Yeah, we'll... middle floor. I missed a floor. Fuck biscuits. Okay, hold up. Self infected. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go back down there quick then. Go back down there quick. Maybe if I deploy one of the distracting things. Hang on. Middle floor. I see, there is a middle floor. Good shout. How does one get down there? I see, there's a ladder that I didn't spot. Yeah, 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 I see, mate. Here, take this. Shit, take that, take that, take that, take that. Go eat that thing. Look, look, it's tasty. Look, it's beeping. You like beeping. Swim around here. Swim down here. Ooh. Sample flasks, a PDA. There we go. Log H, risk taking. Ooh, they found a different tablet. Orange tablet. New blueprint acquired. Creature egg. What? I'll send one of these. Anything worth scanning down here? Fluid analyzer non functional. You can piss off. I don't think there's anything else of note down here. Let's go. Is it eating the beacon? That's not good. It ignored the beacon. was, but it can fuck off. Oh, now I know what that noise was. It can definitely fuck off. Yeah, it's like a giant tick, isn't it? Creepy. I want to scan it, but I don't want to get anywhere near it. Ooh. Let me jump. Trying to get somewhere safe so I can listen to these logs. Let's go this way. Whew. What's that? Gel sack. Another creature egg? here. New blueprint acquired. Wait, I wonder if this is the aerogel that I need. Whoa. Is it alright? Yeah, it's just vibing, doing its thing. No, 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 okay, what the fuck was that? Whoa, whoa! I see! It just let off some green pulse. Okay, let's get out of here. I definitely want to get out of here now. Uh, where is the exit to the cave? I'll take this one. Well, that place is horrible. Let's listen to the logs, eh? 
Looks safe. Thank you, two tenths. Two tenths. Thank you very much, two tenths. So, Degassi voice log number eight. So after they've discovered the disease, or the infection. Margaret, Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan outside? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed that thing? It's still breathing. I was about to finish the job, but I can stay in chat if you'd like. No? Then make yourself useful and pass me that hardened blade. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if it's not as dead as it looks? What if others come? You prefer it got curious and came of its own accord? Or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this planet, I am going to drag you through every court in the damn Federation. So she's killing all the wildlife and she bought a dead, well, a near dead leviathan, something, back to the base. Next log, disaster. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. But tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. He means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torical has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy, I know you can hear me. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! And that's what happened to them. Their habitat got attacked by a Leviathan-class creature, and Bart made it out alive. Okay, so they were trying to study study the infection by by bringing live specimens back. Maybe I need to to do the same. I've learned how to make the yeah to build the containment unit. I can build that back at the base. Calorie intake recommended. One moment. Okay, this is the captain's final log. Came out of nowhere, an alien kraken bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. The rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, Maida appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hoped maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Hmm. They're both gone. Sucks. So we know that Bart made it up to the surface. We received a log from the island upstairs saying that he was, yeah, uh, that they were gone, that he hadn't seen the light in, in months. <sighs> okay, so I guess we just got to follow in their footsteps, study the aliens, figure out what this infection is. He said he saw a light below them. Stand by. Thank you, Ulrak. Thank you very much. Thank you. Alien data, scan data. No, it's under clues, isn't it? 
Uh, data downloaded, advanced theories. Where is it? Sorry. Clues. Here, yeah, codes and clues. Cave system with extensive fossil record. Southwest of the enforcement platform. This is southwest, but it's a long way southwest. Thermal power facility inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. This could be it. So they could have accidentally built on top of one of the alien facilities. And what was that orange tablet that I found as well? Ancient alien tablet with an orange symbol. Hmm. Okay. Let's get this stuff back to the base. Build one of those alien containment facilities. Uh, keep this tablet safe. Yeah, let's just get back to the base and regroup. And also get some food. Also, where is the base? Okay, beacon manager. So, Degassi habitat confirmed. They're dead. They're gone. Back to... The habitat. Indeed, I need health as well. So, we'll pop back to the base. Can I scan that? Membane... Mem mem membrane tree. Ah. Can I get a seed of it? No. Oh, inventory full, times three. Uh, drop one of the bags, I don't need them. Oh yeah, got a seed, I'll take it up top. Welcome aboard, Captain. What was the purple thing that I picked up? Gel sack. Oh, it's food, okay. Seek fluid intake. It's just food. Okay, we're on 230 meters. Bed. Fuck the bed. Just a tree. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Yep. Seek yep. calorie intake We're immediately. Heading back home, then I'll get something to eat. It's not food. I'll have a look. Thank you, um, MJG Jensen One. Thank you very much. Thank you. And if you're just joining the stream, welcome. I'm just returning back to my habitat, having dropped down to the depths to look for some other survivors who are long dead years ago by the looks of things. I've managed to get some of their technology, which I'm going to use back at the sea base. Okay. Ah, the reassuring sound of the uh, the reef backs. Okay. Yep. Let's just grab a bite to eat before we get inside the base. It. Get out the knife. Go kill some edible fish. Yoink. Vital yeah. signs stabilizing. So yeah, I hope everyone's okay. Hope you have all having a nice Monday. Yep. Oh, that one's infected. Don't eat that one. So as for don't drop it, don't drop it. Vital signs. As for me, I've got to crack on with the editing soon. I do need to run out in a little bit to go and get a bit of food, because I'm, I'm, I'm quite low on food in the flat. And here in the United Kingdom, we're going to be entering lockdown again later this week. So, going off to get some bits and pieces, so I'll leg it to the shops and see what I can get. Okay, I'm full on food. Yep, like 400 pot noodles. Okay. Oh, it's even got the name on the side. Hmm. Last chance to look at Sausage Roll Girl. Alas, I think she's left her job. I haven't seen her at the bakery in a long time. Ah, sucks. Oh, well. I tried. I didn't really. Okay. How do I feel about lockdown again? Um, without wishing to, like, uh, I, trouble is I can't voice my opinion on it without it getting immediately political, so 
probably best not to. But uh, I will say this: um, the government in the in the UK is particularly incompetent. Um, yeah. Right. Got that seed that I can plant. Radio. Uh, do you, sir, sir, do you mind? You've got like the whole ocean to float in. Do you have to float in my back garden? What do you want? Fuck off. No, you can't come in. No, I'm not interested in buying whatever you're selling. Piss off. You want to go in the aquarium? You're not going to fit. Okay, ignore the sleeping reef back outside. Check the radio. Listen to this. This is life pod 2 Ooh, coordinates one. attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, another survivor. Didn't expect to find... Well, the light, the scans from the Aurora said that I'm the only human life sign. Okay. CTO used life pod sunk 500 meters before she abandoned it. Uh, okay, one and a half kilometers away to the north. So past the mush mushroom biome, I think. <sighs> Do you mind? Could you go sing somewhere else? Fuck's sake. Fin upgrades. Ah, sorry. Polyaniline and a wiring kit. What's polyaniline then? Yes, that's very loud. Thank you very much. Gold and hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is salt and deep shrooms. Ooh, we can get a fin upgrade. Let's get some shrooms and some salt deposits. Um, okay. Oh yes, and while we're here, we'll build a containment unit. While we're outside as well. So let's go and grab a bit of titanium. Uh, hang on a minute. Titanium, titanium, titanium. Uh, lithium, don't need that. Yes, he wants to. <laughs> can I borrow some sugar? Yes, you can borrow a cup of sugar. What are you doing? Go home, reef back, you're drunk. You come and pick up your son, ma'am. He's okay. What's I doing? Oh yes. Uh, so come out here to equip the. Ah, while we're here, we might as well plant this thing. Grab these. So pop that there and grab these two. No, oh, do I? What do I do? Do I smash them? Oh, I see. Ah, that's how you do it. You pick up a bunch of seeds and you plant them. Ah. That makes more sense now. I was unaware. Okay. Wait, what's this gel sack thing then? So people said not food? Gel sack. Oh, aerogel. Ah! Brill! That, that's it. Light, porous, dry gel, high heat insulation. That means I can make the prawn suit, I think. Right? Holy crap. Uh, no, one thing at a time. Plant it. Oh, I see. I can plant it, can I? Another radio transmission. Creature's egg. Unidentified creature. Oh, I can plant it. Oh, wow. It looks disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Alrighty, then. I was stuck this here earlier, just, just to be like, why not? Does this do anything? I don't think it does anything. I think it's just decoration. Eh. <sighs> okay, now what? So, uh, let's go and equip the base building tool, which is here, Habitat Builder. I was actually going to build it, like, here, sir. Um, is he going to be an issue? Hang on. So, we need to build the... 
creature habitat, the observ observation area. We'll do it here. Have a main hub, bedroom, observation area, scanner room. No, don't stab it. It's rude. Don't stab it. Okay, need to sort these foundations anyway. Let's get some lead. Whoop. Get some lead, get some metal. Get the foundations done. Why is it? I don't know. He's drunk. Check that radio message as well. Pop that there. You listening? Playing partially uh -oh. translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. I received that radio or a similar radio transmission a few days ago from my emergency drop pod. I think it might be the aliens, as in the containment. They said containment agents. New targets accounted for one. Does that mean my infection has gone to the point where I'm actively being hunted? We could be in trouble. Could be in trouble. Keep calm. I agree. Could the propulsion cannon move the Leviathan? I doubt it. Right. I mean you no harm, Reef Back. Thank you, Bunny. Thank you. Does it do anything? Also, for those not familiar, this is clearly a gun, and it's called Propulsion Cannon. The protagonist, on picking up this thing, the first thing he did was stick his fingers down the end of the barrel. I'm not even joking. Like, he stuck his hand and his fingers towards the pointy bit and pulled the trigger. And, of course, the gun pulled his hand towards the gun, because that's what it does. I think I'm playing as a dumbass. It's like an XCOM. When, the, when you get the grenade launcher, the first thing the character does is fire it straight into the ceiling. They're indoors. Right. Uh, I don't need these, just drop them. Go for a swim. Be free! Strange creatures. Right, um, ignore the reef back. Let's get some titanium and some lead. So back, sorry, back in. In, out, in, out. Make up my mind. Hello, scanner room. Reef back. Reaper Leviathans. Really? I can detect Reaper Leviathans? Scan for Reaper Leviathans. <laughs> this is where bloop, 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 bloop. They all suddenly start appearing en masse. Ah, oh, I see. Reaper Leviathan. All the way over there in its hunting ground. Hmm. Never mind. Okay, so I would like to find some... Titanium's all well and good, but to be honest, can I just find some... I need some lead, so... Uh, lead... I guess sandstone deposits? Show me all sandstone deposits. Sandstone chunks. Upload them straight to my HUD, please. I'll go find them. Okay. That's loud, sir. Thank you very much for that. Am I storing this uranite crystal there and there? Creature egg unidentified. Alrighty then. Drop that. Drop that. Okay. Let the scanner do its thing. Oh, the power in the base is quite low. Bioreactor. I think we have a little bit of. Do I have any more of that? I do. Creep vine clusters. Pop this here. Right, my character is going to go sleep now. I've got to try and do that while the reef back is making that noise. Hang on. Build some shelves. Right, let's go sleep. Whilst the whole bed is vibrating to the sound of a reef back. <laughs> oh dear. Right, is he still there or has he buggered off? Ah, look, the scanner's been doing its work overnight. 
He's still there. Okay. I don't even know. Okay, let's grab some sandstone. <laughs> yeah, he's pressing his face against the glass. Where's the next YouTube video? Piss off. Be ready when it's ready. Fuck. Okay, silver ore. So I'm looking for lead. Lead. <sighs> yes, fix your upload schedule. That's exactly what would happen. I'd go all the way to an alien world in the far-flung future, get completely stranded, and yet somehow one of you motherfuckers will still find your way to send me a message. Where's the next video? Eh, don't need all of this. Just on to the lead, really. Thank you, Sneak Raptor. Thank you very much, sir. As soon as I can, Asswolf. As soon as I can. Okay. Maybe it is the wreck making that noise. Lead. Gold. Oops. Grab some lead. This is way easier than it used to be. Oopsie. With the scanner room. Didn't mean to grab that boomerang. Thank you, Raph. Thank you very much, Raph. Thank you. Do the deposits respawn? I don't think so. I think I'm just wasting shit. Grab some salt. Thank you, an Irish Asian one. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Silver. Lead. Don't need. Fuck. Don't need those either, to be honest. Lead. Lead. Let's go. Let's head back home. Maybe I can pick up some of the wreckage on the way. Um a little bit of, uh, there we go. Metal salvage for the titanium. Hmm. <sighs> Should I stop being so mean to the friendly floating plant monsters giving me free whale noises and asking for nothing in return? I'm not being mean to them, Martin. I'm just asking them to respect my personal space. 30 seconds. Oh. Can I make it? Maybe not crash into the side of my base and sit there. Quickly. He's still there. Oxygen. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. So take this look. Oh, I didn't need that. Yeah, I need to deploy this outside, don't I? So, let's reinforce the foundations. Do you mind, sir? There we go. One, two, and... Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! I just... He, he's he he's gone inside the gun. I've, got, I've absorbed the reef back into the construction tool in my hand. Ah. Which means the next thing that I, that I build will be made out of the reef back. Okay. Multi-purpose room. Can't build because no foundation, maybe? Probably, maybe. Um, what am I doing? Foundation. No? Oh, there we go. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, connect. I see. Just need the foundation. Okay, titanium and lead. I've got the lead. I require the titanium. 
So let's just pop inside quickly. Can I build one of the fabricators? Interior modules, fab... Yeah. Okay. Titanium. I really sips F. Something else amiss. Something else amiss. Okay. What's amiss? Maybe I just can't build it there because, like, object in the way or something? Ah, no, no biggie. We'll build it here and we'll just uh, train the corridor towards it, like, I guess, somehow. We'll work it out. We can always deconstruct it momentarily. Okay, let's grab some. Hang on. Let's go get a bit. Uh, get, uh, go get a bit more metal. In fact, let's take the seam off. That has some storage space in it. Oh, I see. Is the wall blocked where the tube would be? Yes. There's some storage units. Do you reckon that's it? Indeed, we have this. Do you reckon that's why? No worries, we can we can fix that. Get this window. Whoop. And instead put down some interior modules. Yeah. Really? Whoops. Uh, any titanium, please? Irritating, bear with me. Take that off. There we go. That's better. Bugger. No just random titanium sitting around. I only need a couple of pieces. Two pieces. What's that made out of? That's glass. Um What's made out of two pieces of titanium that I can pinch? One. Two. Ta-da! And grab the contents of these lockers and just go bish bash bosh. Bish bash bosh. Right. So yeah. So for those joining the stream today, just uh yeah, continuing on with the edit editing and trying not to go insane. Okay, pop that there, and then deconstruct. Perfectly in line, as you can see. Oops. Butterfingers. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and the chat goes not happy at all. Well, these things happen, chat. You just got to learn to accept them. Except the things you cannot control. Also, the dog has farted. That's horrendous, honey bunny. Why are you eating your own leg? Oh my god, that's smelly. You stink, honey. Hmm? Yeah, I'm talking about you. You smell. You stink. <laughs> She's okay. She had a good play in the park this morning with a whippet. She went, she went crazy running around in circles with it. So she should be knackered. Right. Multi-purpose room. Actually, deconstruct it and see if I can just pop it down. Seek fluid intake. Okay. Aha! Thank you very much. That was the problem. Damn. Two pieces of titanium required. Any pieces of metal just sitting around that I can pinch? We'll switch off that lifeboat, uh, the beacon marker, for the minute. Any pieces of scrap metal?
Uh, I think I need both of those foundations. Uh, yes, indeed, I have been to the Aurora. And the sea moth fragment to get some free titanium. Some titanium just sitting around. Ah. Why no med station? Uh, I've forgotten to build one. I do know what you mean. Uh, there we go. We should have enough titanium. Whoa, well out. Huh. Oh, really? Okay, my mistake, sips out. I thought I needed them. All right, then. Room constructed. Now, what do we require for the alien containment unit that we've just recovered? Power cell charger, interior... So five units of glass and two units of titanium. We should have those, I believe. Let's have a look inside. Titanium, three units of titanium. How much glass do we currently have? Have a quick drink. Vital signs stabilizing. Lovely jubbly. Uh, glass, glass, glass. Uh, one piece of glass. One, two, three. Okay, so that's four pieces of glass. Was it four or five? It was five. So pick up two pieces of quartz and tell the fabricator to make some glass. Lovely. What's this? We've got something new. Equipment. Oh yes, orange tablet. I can replicate it with a bit of nickel. Okay. Right, so this is the new room that we've constructed. Alien containment. Provides optimal conditions for flora and fauna. Add, uh, add a hatch to enter. Okay. Aquariums. Provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. I see. Okay, so these eggs that I recovered before, creature eggs. Oh, that's a piece of poo. Okay, that's that doesn't belong in there. Um, put this poo in the bioreactor. It's a poo reactor. <laughs> uh, okay. So creature egg. 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 Let's stick them in there and see what they hatch into, eh? <laughs> I've got the mental image of see what they hatch into, and then I, I I enter the room and it's it's grown into one of those full-grown teleporting aliens, just looking at, looking at me like stop. Okay, power is draining quick. Is it really? No, no, poo power. We'll be okay. All right, build a hatch. Build a hatch. Oh, just a normal hatch. Two pieces of titanium and a single piece of quartz. No, we're quite low on titanium, aren't we? Hold the phone. Titanium. Swing east quickly to get some more scrap. Bring it back. Yes, my base is run by elephant shit. Sea elephant shit. No, Casanova. You don't want a symmetrical base. You want a base with base with character. You want people to look at your base and be like, wow, that's fucked up. I'm looking for pieces of metal. 
in this completely safe cave system. Silver ore. Aha. Oh. Piss off. Oh, that one's infected. What the fuck? I've never seen a stalker that's been infected. Wow. Inventory. Really? Oh, I didn't actually. I carried all the eggs with me. Oh, wow, a stalker. Tooth. Okay. Drop. What can I drop? Shit. That was stupid. Well, I got duplicates. Little salvage. Can I drop two things I don't care about? Uh. Not really. Head back. We've got a little bit of titanium. That's all we need. <laughs> a really melancholic. <laughs> this is where a fish goes into the fan on the front of the sea glide. The whole thing just malfunctions. It's good. I'm like, fuck. Okay. Also, well, looking at the time, I need to wrap this up fairly soonish. Got lots to do today. I need to get this video done. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Bits of quartz. Hatch. Here we go. So we'll place down a hatch. Right. Oh. Didn't finish it. Because I didn't actually turn the titanium into titanium. Or usable titanium. Okay. Yes, indeed, Martin. I have done that indeed. It goes off floating. It's weird. Right. Alien containment unit. So, for those people joining the stream, we've learnt this technology from the Degassi crew members, so the three survivors from a different ship that were here years ago. So the son, Bart, was trying to study the... himself, apparently. He was trying to study himself in an aquarium he built for himself. Get the fuck out. The son, Bart, was trying to study alien life. Oh no, do I do that? Sorry, I'm supposed to go in there and drop them. I see. Use planter. Aha. I will plant this egg. No, that doesn't work. Oh, I see. I can plant life forms for them to, f for them to feed on, I guess? Just drop them. Alright. So, unidentified creature egg. Creature egg. Creature egg. Creature egg. Creature egg. I hope you all get along. Oh wow, what's that? That one's... That one's actually got a life form in it, what the fuck? Hi! Oh, look at you! Wow! It's adorable! It's got great big eyes and it's pulsating! How cute is that? <laughs> is there something in there? Oh yeah, you can actually see inside, look! Look at him, he's eager to come out! Yeah, this is where we discover it's like, it's like something horrifying. It will grow up into something absolutely terrifying. It's just when it's a baby, it looks adorable. Yeah, it grows into a reaper leviathan. Smashes out through the habitat. Oh, what's that thing then, I wonder? So hang on, they're wobbling. Look, hang on. Yeah, look, they're wobbling. That one's wobbling. Interesting. Right. How many are there? <laughs> Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Only five? Okay. So there's probably not going to be five when I get back because, you know, predators. So let's go upstairs and have a nice lie down. <sighs> In my wetsuit. Ah, wakey wakey. Right. In the 
battle royale that is the alien containment unit, which one survived? Oh no, they're still growing. Damn it! Grow faster! How dare you not grow immediately in the, in the over a few hours? Okay, I'll leave him be. See what happens. Okay, so wait, I still got. God damn it! Hi, sorry. Don't mind me. I forgot one. Have that. Don't know what that is. Probably something hideous. Um. Also have some lubrication. And I can't drop it. <laughs> yeah. Are they pulsate once they're in there? Not all of them not all of them are pulsating. Perhaps that implies that they, they're not hatching. Yeah. I can stack the containment areas. Oh really, Daigle a day uh sorry, Daigle? Okay, um, now what then? So maybe we should go and look into one of these life pods. Yeah, let's go and see... Let's go investigate one of the incoming signals, yeah? So, voice log... I don't have long, I've got about another 15 minutes, so we'll keep this quick. So, beacon manager... So now that I can... Sorry, is there anything I, that, I, that I urgently need to build? Upgrade to my fins, I can get that, but that's not super urgent right now. Okay, hang on. So, beacon manager. Did I investigate this one from before? 250 meters sunk to the ocean bed. Life pod 12. I think I missed that one before. Did I miss that one before? We'll, we'll, we'll get the sea moth and investigate. Hang on. First, some food. Indeed, but I don't have. Um, I need. I need to let the aerogel plant grow first. I think. Uh... Damn. But. Got it. It's already full grown, I just need to make a seed of it. Do you reckon? Pick up gel sack. Okay. Sweet. Spores. Thank you very much. Planting the spores. Sweet. Hi there, pineapple. Yeah, I'm okay. Welcome Thank you, Goja Berry. Thank you. Off we go. Also, could you bear with me online. just one moment? I really fancy a wee wee. I'll be back in just a moment. Ah, <sighs> hang on, where's that hand gel? Where's it gone? Ah, here it is. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Oh. Do, 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 do. There we go. Right. So let's go, folks. So two kilometers away, life pod 12, sunk to the ocean bed at 250 meters. 
Let's go and see if we can find it. So life pod 17, that was the chef, wasn't it? He's long dead. Oops. Ping. Oh. It's a lot of fun. I should keep spare, um, spare charged energy cells in the back of the sea moth for emergencies. Also, well, as we go past, let's grab a fresh med kit from. There it is. From our drop pod. see this was the initial pod that we arrived in medkit used just double checking storage no just a flare we don't need it back into the sea moth save it and let's go investigate that signal so one kilometer away okay So they're past the red, the red grass sea here. Thank you, Mandaloro. Thank you very much, sir. And Tomoto. Thank you very much. Uh oh. So they're in Leviathan territory, aren't they? Okay. Thank you, also Death. Thank you very much. Okay, we're about to enter Leviathan territory. I think. What's that? Piece of a cyclops? No, moon pool. May as well. Get some materials. Uh, yes, Leviathan. I've uh, forgotten. So a large predatory species called a Leviathan Reaper. Oh no, no wait, they might be shy they might be just shy of it. Thank you, Clark and Zeet. Thank you sincerely, guys. Thank you. Scanning. So there's the Aurora. Thank you, Mandaloro. Thank you again, sir, for your sub bomb. Thank you. There's another one of these mushroom, um, like these orb forests. Oh, they are properly far out. Yikes. Yeah, I hear a leviathan. It's out there. There it is. You see it? See that tail? Stay low. Also, before we proceed... What's that? Bold bush, I must have done it already. Detecting volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic what was that? signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. What the fuck was that? Whoa! Whoa! What is that? It's like an electric eel thing. And that was the thing doing the biting. What's 
What's going on? What are these things? Whoa, whoa. Regular shark. Pretty, though. Keep moving. Emergency power only at the habitat. Should be fine. Doesn't appear to be hostile. There's quite a few of them, look. Oh shit, you kidding me? This is where they sunk to? They had to surface through all this? Light pod 12, we found them. Hello. So they're predatory. Seek fluid intake. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't bring any water with me. My mistake. So they said they were headed towards the rendezvous. They must have built a sea glide and headed onwards. Hell, Jesus. Five pod twelve, medical officer Danby. Playing log. I'm not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. <laughs> what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. Ooh. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Well, at least he's honest. In this situation. Well, it's safe to assume he's toast. Is there anything of note in this area? Anything worthwhile? Oh, crash! Oh look, eggs! Rabbit ray egg, crash fish egg. What was the other one? Cuddle something. Discovered. Ah. A quick look around. They said they were making a break for the surface. Is there anything on the surface? Whoa, look at you. Maybe I should give the local wildlife a quick scan. Give it a save. Hang on. Sandstone. We already know that. Common bulb bush. Hello. Okay. Can I get any seeds? I can. They're heavy. A mature flora, spe flora specimen will grow if planted in the right conditions. 10% water. Gold. Let's get a bit of food. Bear with me. Excuse me, Mr. Hoopfish. Just need a bit of food and also water. I assume bladderfish don't come far. Oh, Jesus. Don't bite me, don't bite me, leave me alone! No, 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 Hey, owie, 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 owie. I'm gonna scan you, you bastard. Owie, 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 owie. I'm not food. Okay, an ampeel. Welcome aboard, Captain. Tell me about an ampeel. A powerful and inquisitive predator found inhabiting deeper waters of the reefs and bulb bush colonies. Electrical prongs. 
Torso-mounted prongs generate a powerful electrical current which the ampule uses to inc incapacitate its prey. A large flexible jaw studded with sharp teeth uh, on its front, uh, so if it's, sorry, if a faster, stronger and hungrier predator lives on the reef, it appears to avoid the ampule. Simple enough. Just a regular eel. Right, okay. Is there nothing else of note over here? I mean, no wreckage to have a look through? Anything worth scanning? Do you mind, sir? 44%. Need to be careful, the sub is quite badly damaged. That's the Aurora. That's nastier than the Aurora. All the way up there, look. Seek fluid intake immediately. I'm curious to see if we can find those alien ruins. This is an area of high geological activity. But I see nothing. Okay, so we'll head back We'll have a look at the fish in the aquarium Yikes, it gets deep Very deep Holy shit, big cave No wait. Local scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome Ooh. with extensive fossilized remains. That sounds like what we need. Extensive fossilized remains. One of the one of the alien sites was located in an er in an area with extensive fossilized remains. Okay. Beacon manager. Figure out where we are. Life pod. Fuck are we? I hear a Leviathan. It's out there in the darkness somewhere. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to find our way back here quite easily. Okay, I need to go back and get some water anyway, otherwise I'm gonna die. Right, so, um, I'll go back to the habitat, we'll have a look and see what's hatched, and then I need to wrap up the stream, I'm afraid. As I've got to crack on with work. I'm going to die of dehydration. Thank you, Grim. Thank you very much, Grim. Beacon manager, life pod. This is closer. Which means bladder fish are also closer. Yeah. Seek fluid intake. I am rapidly dying of dehydration. Quickly. Boom! <coughs> Shit the bed. Oh. Yeah, any fish nearby that I can rapidly eat? Yep. <laughs> Time, mate. Quick. Get in my belly. There we go. 3% hydration. Piss off sharks, you sharky bastards. They're competing with me for food. Plants? Does that work? Hydration from the kelp? I don't think that works. 
spade fish. Hold up. I'm not sure if I can eat with full hunger. Hang on. No, I can't. Four percent. Ah, don't die, don't die. Stop fighting myself. Ladder fish. That's what we want. New quickly. We'll be fine. Bulb in the inventory. Hang on. Uh, bulb in the inventory? The what, sorry? Oh, Jesus Christ! Holy moly! Wow! We got taken out by a shark! That's not happened before! Holy moly, that came out of nowhere. Rip me! I've died and lost some belongings. Bugger. Okay, and I'll have to go back to the sea moth to retrieve it. Right! Let's go have a look and see what's hatched then. So, oh wow, I see, what the hell is that? So we've got a couple of those ray things, <laughs> it's a little squiddy thing, hang on, hello weird aliens, please don't burrow into my skull or anything, I see, the little red egg was a crash fish, hello, crash fish, cuddle fish, <laughs> Look at that picture. And a rabbit ray. So, the rabbit ray, a herbivorous aquatic life form, rabbit rays appear to live serene and solitary lives with few predators, a natural sense of curiosity, and awesomely poisonous flesh. Their twin orange, orange appendages mounted on their heads sense vibrations in the water. Their undulating win, wings mark uh, markedly similar methods of transportation to that of Earth rays. Zero genetic resemblance detected, suggesting these two species independently developed similar solutions to their environmental circumstances. Evidence indicates its large side-facing eyes are relatively recent adaptions. It is likely they are uh, related. Uh, there are related ray species in other environments and biomes on the planet. Okay. The crash fish. This unusual species has developed an emergency defense mechanism based on mutually assured destruction. Forward mounted eyes enable the creature to identify and track potential predators. The sulfur plant. So the sulfur plant has evolved to feed on sulfuric compounds secreted by the crash fish, which makes its nest within the leaves. Stronger, more protective plants provide superior nesting grounds, which in turn provide the plant with more nutrients from larger crash fish. Defensive mechanism: concentrations of the sulfur build up in the or uh, sorry the concentrations of the sulfur build up in the organism over time. If the wait, as a stalker just hatched in here. Whoa. A stalker just hatched. Um, sorry. If the crash fish collides with something at sufficient speed, the spikes on on the torso are impacted, triggering an explosive chemical reaction. Equip the stasis rifle, repulsion cannon, or similar before approaching shallow caves. The cuttlefish. A small grey coloured herbivore, the cuttlefish displays high levels of intelligence, curiosity, and attachment. Strangely, this species has not been encountered in the wild, and the scanned specimen had to be artificially hatched within an alien containment unit. This must have been the egg that I found in the, in the Degassi habitat. Life cycle. In the absence of, a wild, uh, of wild specimens, little can be known for certain about the cuttlefish's life cycle. It is possible that environmental conditions have changed, forcing the species to the edge of extinction oh. and leaving its eggs in permanent stasis. It is also possible the cuttlefish has been genetically altered or even imported to 4546B from another world. We do, uh, we do know that the cuttlefish is a herbivore which displays highly social behaviour in its interspecies interactions, as was observed on Earth um, in Earth, Earth dolphins before their extinction. Oh. This creature seems to understand the concept of other minds, the prime indicator of true sentience, and attempts to communicate with a series of, and attempts to communicate with a series of chirps and chirrups. Hmm. Interactions. Evidence suggests that cuttlefish 
is capable of understanding and following simple commands, in addition to assessing the emotional state of individuals around it and responding in kind. Emotional connection between living creatures is an essential component to psychological health. Does it respond? Pick up. Hello. Oh, a curious specimen hatched from an egg in an alien, in alien containment. Shame you can't pet it. Be like, hello. Hi. Oh, look at him. <laughs> I should call you Lulu. Aww. Don't you bite. Don't you be eating people. Mm hmm. Can I plant stuff? I can take it outside. No, it'll get eaten by other things. Take the cuttlefish outside? For real? Does that work? Hang on. What does that mean? Hang on. I'm gonna save it before it gets horribly murdered by something. What does it do? Oh, hello. Oh, wow! I can command it. Command to stop following. It's following me? Hello? I see, it's like your pet. Play. Hello. <laughs> I gave it a biscuit. Oh. Hello. So it follows me around. Command to stop following. You wait here. Command to follow. <laughs> oh. Hello. Biscuit. Oh. <laughs> you can get high fives. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Oh. <laughs> How cool! Can it be eaten by other fish? Better not. No, 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 come back. It's been bitten by a biter. Gimme, gimme, gimme. No, no, don't, don't eat biscuit. How do I get it inside? How do I pick it up? The biter just attacked it. You piss off. Hmm. How do I pick it up again? Oh. Right. Thank you for watching, folks. I do have to leave it there. Um, I've got lots to do today. You can't pick it up again. Oh, is it going to be safe? It can't be killed, right? It's fine. Let it do its thing. Right. Um, so, yes, I've got lots of editing to do, so I need to go and crack on. Yeah. Where's he gone? Magic. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> right. So, um, yes, going to go crack on with editing. I'll be, uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll be around later this evening. But nevertheless... Ignore that, it's fine. Warning, emergency power only. Uh, and it's fine, don't worry about it, it's fine. So yes, um, please know that I'm working on a seven week project that is nearly done. Um, so today I need to mostly do audio editing to be honest. There's lots of audio things that I need to fix. Um, I need to swap out a couple of background music tracks which I think were crap and pick something a bit like lower key, like quieter. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a busy day. I've got to go and do my best. To just try and get this project finished. Um, right. Oh, hang on. Let me just quit out. Are you right, honey bunny? Yeah, she needs to just rest there for a bit. You're going to go see the dog sitter later? Yeah, thank you for watching. And thank you, Lemon, and Stealth Banana, and Muins, and Mandaloro, and Grim. Thank you, all of you, for subbing. Right. Let's have a look and see who's doing what. So, in the ZF clan... Uh, so Quebec is doing Partisans, Edberg is doing Just Chatting, Sheep is doing The Isle, and Paltos is doing Sea of Thieves. In which case, I will hand you over to... I'll hand you over to Paltos. So yes, he's playing a bit of Sea of Thieves. He doesn't stream that often, so feel free to have a look and see what you think. Maybe give him a follow if you like his content. Right, thank you again. All the best. Have a lovely afternoon.